Yes, welcome to the Jamaica Young Police Channel. To my loyal viewers and subscribers at the channel, we are a group of law abiding citizens who believe in the rule of law and respect the rights of every citizen, but not the ones who do not subscribe to such behavior. We do believe in and support preemptive strikes because it saves lives. Yes, we at the Jamaica Young Police Channel is all about saving lives. Yes, that's what we're all about here to save lives at the Jamaica Young Police Channel. But some lives are not worth saving. They have lived a parasitic life and were not contributing citizens to the society. Hence, we'd like to find a way to get rid of them by any means necessary. Before we begin today's video, we want our audience and detractors to know that anything that we have said here that is incorrect, you can reach out to us and we will give you the chance to correct the same by contacting us at 954-556-0275. The first and foremost thing about us on this channel is our character, credibility and reputation. We have never slandered or defamed anyone's name on this platform. If the truth shall kill those who ate the truth, let it kill them. Criminals are people with paranoid psychosis who often believe the government is persecuting them and that the police are trying to kill them when they are the ones who are killing others and believe that their lives is more important than their victims. I can tell you that I was talking to a former detective of Special Branch. Uh, if people know of you know, Special Branch in Jamaica, Special Branch is the entity that used to gather intelligence and criminals in Jamaica and they will keep a dossier. Do you understand? And several people in Jamaica um, I remember when Walde when Walde was killed and they were saying Walde is the Dan of Dan's and all kind of thing. And put him on a pedestal want to compare himself with other criminal, you know, people put him on a pedestal want to compare him in the criminal world. I don't, you know, that is how it is with the low IQ people. That he is a man of a stature like a Christopher Dudu Squawk and all those, you know, criminals, you know, the Zeeks and all those people. But the difference with him and those men is not evil. You cannot even compare to what I have heard about. Vice Cartel, because Vice Cartel is, more, is far dangerous and smarter than Walde and the other criminals and dons in Jamaica because he has his connection highland wide. When I say highland wide, island wide. And the reason why Vice Cartel did not sue the Commissioner of Police Owen Ellington when he had stated that Vice Cartel is alleged to involving hundreds of murder in Jamaica. It was not exaggeration at all. None. The difference with Vibes Cartel and Walde and the, the other so-called dance. Vibes Cartel is like a deity. The people who are on Vibes Cartel worship him. They don't care about money or nothing like that. They just want to be in his presence. They have this man like a god in the criminal world. You have men who leave from country just to be around him and to do things to prove themselves to him. The difference with him why he wasn't taken out is that the people that Vibes Cartel was taking out, that is team of shutters that were taking out people, these weren't people who were connected to the upper echelon in the, in the society in Jamaica. He was getting rid of people that he think were his competitors or people who have, he have disagreement with, especially Vibes Cartel as a leader is an authoritarian, like a dictator. No room for dissent. Any dissent, that's it. You have to agree with him at all times. He has no room for the centers. The difference with him and Walde says is that 
he don't send people on suicide missions. And he has people that are willing to give their life for him because they see him as a deity. Being around Vibes Cartel and in his presence is to most of these young men is better than having a pretty girl uptown. They rather to be around him because of the energy that he emits. Whether or not you want to like it, whether it's negative to you, but to them, the Lord this man have him on a pedestal. And whether and if you want to believe it, this man was so connected to even judges in Jamaica. Yes, he was so connected to even judges in Jamaica. Yes, he had connection with Brian Sykes. That's how influential the man is and was. If it wasn't for the weak case, Vibes Cartel would not be in prison today's date. While there was not a deity to the young men then that were around him, they did not love him like the way that they, like how the men around Vibes Cartel loved, loved him. Vibes Cartel would beat even one of his top shatter, beat him, and that man would limp and come back the next day and call to him teacher while in in a different scenario with a different than that could not happen you can't violate anything in his world because he is like a god but uh, that we just started you know, we thought we were, you know, we didn't know that we were just starting. We thought we were about to wrap up with some more things. But what we have learned, it's mind-boggling. Oh, this man was able to operate like this. And the difference, apart from the entourage and stuff like that, he had some people around him that they were very loyal in so many ways that if Vibes Cartel killed their mother and they, and they had witnessed it they would, they would exonerate him for his action there and they would not retaliate or anything like that the man was the man have like a like a sheet over the, over the young people's eyes these young men all even girls Vibes Cartel was able to get women to do things that men would dream of yes lisa um lisa Iper, that's a, that's that's just one of the thing that he had released with her with her doing that because and she did not even want to do it but she had to because if it didn't you're not gonna be around the teacher wife scottel is one of the most dangerous criminals jamaica has ever seen but the thing why Vice Cartel was able to be successful in his in his criminal life is that he had help from police officers. Yes, lots of police officers, including one near Miller Nine who is in prison right now in America for a robbery and home invasion. He had some he had some men at one at one point when there was conflict in the Alliance camp because Vibes Cartel do not want anyone to take the spotlight from him so when Movada had a birthday party over by La Rose and Adonai, uh, what's his name was instrumental in causing disruption and chaos at the party for Movada that was Vibes Cartel doing and guess what the same Adonai, along with Vibes Cartel, wanted to hurt Movada and Bounty Killer. Both men 
Adonai, Adonai and Vibes Cartel, they wanted to hurt my father and Bounty Killer. But the reason why the name of these men were in, um, why they didn't, because they could not, it wasn't easy to get around, especially to Bounty Killer. Because most of the time, Bounty Killer have a police officer around him. And um, my father was always in the company of Bounty Killer. And there were some men from Cassava Peace. Some of them are dead. And Vibes Cartel and Adonai, Adonai, they were afraid of these men. Because any inclination or any, any arm that come to him, these men would wipe, wipe them out. But it would not be easy for you to get to Vibes Cartel. More to come. This one is honestly all my years as a detective. I have never come across a character like Vibes Cartel. When the Commissioner of Police had stated before that Vibes Cartel is, is responsible for hundreds of deaths across the island, it was not an exaggeration. It was a fact. That's why Vibes Cartel did not so. Because the intelligence was there. There are more cases that they could have arrested and charged Vibes Cartel for, for murder. But because the state wanted to receive money and because they know that this case, the case with we, the lizard case is airtight. Because we did a number on Vibes Cartel. You're going to hear a Vibes Cartel sending a man, he's dead now, named Country Blacks. To rock for to kill we and they killed a man that was delivering bird certificate. Country blacks, this is a man who's from country. You go to hear so many things. But you know, this is just the tip of the iceberg of what to come. About Vibes Cartel, Miller 9, Nunopus, Shati. Little Addy, that is son, the one with the pregnant girl. Uh, Mad Dog, Mad Dog, that's always around, Chronic Law and Popcorn. That's one of Vibes, he's from Waltham. That's one of Vibes Cartel Top Shatter. Even today's date, Mad Dog will follow to your hell and back to kill you. He's from Waltham. Yes, thanks for tuning in to the Jamaica Young Police Channel. Jamaica Young Police Channel, out.